Hi everyone, this is Sam. Today I'll be showing you how to upload videos to YouTube pages using your desktop, using your laptop, yes, uh, using the any browser that using Google Chrome or Windows uh, um, page uh, player or you have Safari or any browser you are using as far as you are on the laptop. People are asking, but I do tell them it's just pretty simple. So. After I show you this, possibly I'm going to show you how you can do that with your mobile phone. So today we are just showing you how to upload videos to your YouTube page on your laptop or your PC or your desktop. Now, um, one of the things you need very important is that YouTube is mostly easily accessible through your Google Mail. Now, if you have a Gmail, you have access to a whole lot of things with google or uh, possibly if you have a gmail account you have a google drive account you have a google form account you have a google photo account you have uh, a whole lot of things around google also you can you have a youtube page account so immediately you have a gmail your gmail is logged in your google email is logged in when you open youtube on your phone or your laptop what you're going to find is that you will find your name on your google account already showing here which is the right side here of your youtube page so this is a desktop page you find a log name so for me i have a lot of things that is trending today wherever you're going to count uh you're watching also but here on the subscription i have a lot of channels i have subscribed to on the page where i'm going to see a whole lot of things here but for you you may not have this so anytime you open the youtube page you always find a create icon page. A create icon page, which is this, is the create icon page. So there are two ways. If you have a YouTube page channel like mine, if I tap double click on this, or if I just do a single click on this, it's going to take me to my channel. So I'm going to right click to take me to my channel just to show you two things here. So here you have the create icon where you can click create to upload a video and also if you have a channel like my channel you can also do the same but everything is coming to your channel sometimes when you are setting up your account you actually don't have a channel created i can show you how to create a channel in a later video but today you have an access an account so what i'll be doing today same icon is here create a video or a post or if i'm on the home page create a video so we're going to click create a video and you see upload or you can go live so when you click upload of you make sure you have the video you want to upload in a separate folder or in a desktop that is easily uh it's a video where you can easily find and also every details that's going with your video make sure you have them available so i'm going to be showing you that right now now we have the upload video platforms at this position i can drag my video from wherever it is i cannot go click select files to my video so right now i have my video which i downloaded from a site is here and uh, it's there on my folder so make sure you have your video on your folder also it's always advisable to rename your video if you have a video you are yet to give it a name this came with on title project so I'm going to rename it to my file name as the name, the title of my video. So it's renamed, so I can drag it to the desktop page. So yeah, I can drag and drop my video to upload. Remember, you can have a video of every format and directly because I have the title as also the file name, the title came here directly. So on the page here we have the page for details we have for video element we have for feasibility and we also have for title if we look here the video is already uploaded if you have a good internet network and your video you're uploading is not in a file that is that large you find your video easily uploaded so why it is uploading you can work on necessary things number one you can put in your title okay Maybe you can learn how to do the right title. Title most times capture people and, and a good title. If you open the field of a tutorial, one of the things that I tell people is go ahead, check on 
YouTube when people have created that video, what title are they using? Most of we use how to and a whole lot of content writing headlines. It's always help number one for people to be searching for this particular video online or on Google. So why they type the name on Google, YouTube with the search queries will bring up your own video. Okay, I think I'll be teaching that. I've done a whole lot of training on that on our content uh, writing and content class uh, masterclass where we show people how to create different captions to be easily findable or discoverable on the internet. So here I have my title, then I'm going to put my description. I already have my description placed here on the wall. Okay, so I'm going to put in my description. And then you can paste it. A whole lot of things you can do on the description. There are a whole lot of times where on your description, you can even give a description about yourself. You can offer an ebook, you can offer a free discount. Even through your description, you can tell people to download a free guide where you can even use this opportunity to gather leads and to connect to potential clients if you're using it for a particular uh, training. So this is my video I've already uploaded. This is a podcast and audio that was converted to a video. Here's the video link already. Here you have your tumbling. That is what people will see anytime they see your video. You can design a better tumbling to describe your video where you upload it here. I have no tumbling here, but if you just do a, a better size video format design and you upload it here, and it is going to show as your thumbnail. Here we have playlist. This is where you describe uh, playlist for me. Right, this video is on that one called Digital Insight with Sam Podcast. If it's not, maybe I'm creating another tutorial with a particular name. For example, if you are creating a tutorial to create to teach people how to bake cake, and maybe you have a video for a particular cake tutorial, maybe yeah, you just come here, create a new playlist and give it a name and you add it to your site. I'm going to show you this is another nice class to show you. You have a page, how to create a page, how to arrange your page, how to segment your Page. But today is how to upload the video. So it's a digital insight with some podcast, then it's done. And also, audience, is this video made for kids? If your video is made for kids, you can say yes, it's made for kids. But even though this video is not made for kids, now age restriction, yes, no, don't restrict my video to people over 18 only. That is lower than 18 and higher than 18 can actually watch this video. More options here. Uh, by video content pre promotion, no. Yeah, we call it the tags whereby you play with a lot of keywords. It's play, it does actually don't, but it plays some mineral roots in every viewer to find your video. This video is about online marketing. So, what I can do is have all my cutting there and that the content tag. Uh, it also have target audience. So, I can do that. Okay, um, good. And also, also is about business. It's about online uh, business or online business presence. You can play with the whole lot. Of Most times, I advise people: if you have a video that you're creating a look alike, you can use some Chrome tags for YouTube. The whole lot of Chrome tags for YouTube you can upload or install on your Chrome. So you to see major tags people use to make the video available here. You can make subtitle for your same. You can turn off subtitles, subtitle web. Especially if you have a video where you want Facebook or YouTube to make a subtitle available on this site, then you look for your language you're speaking. Then you put in a subtitle. Most time I don't allow subtitle, but you can allow subtitle. Also, uh, you can declare a whole lot of things here. If you are not familiar, you can leave all this. In. He also recording dates and location is not that necessary. License is a standard YouTube license. You have put it here. You can allow a band that is, you can allow somebody to pick up your video on a band anywhere. You can also publish the subscription feed and notify subscriber. Now your category, uh, this video is more for educational, uh, but let's leave it to how to and style the whole of options here. Travel and event gaming, people, blogs, comedy, entertainment, news and politics, science technology. All right, so let's just put it on your how to style. Comment and ratings, all potential and appropriate. You can play around all these, order comment for review, or you disable comment if you don't want a comment. So, yeah, we are done.
here and the next thing click on next here we have if you want to add an end screen that is when you have a video uploading and you can use this to you can create another information for people to know more about another video possibly have been seeing while you're watching the video of a particular musician or someone on youtube person show you another video that is on that site here you can do your heart if you want the video to show where i have a lot of video here firstly when i pick that i can pick the format i want it to be so if i'm putting an end screen that is at the end of my screen i want it to show something so number one i can say let you show one video and a subscribe button on one video but here at the hopper region or here two videos you can play all of them so let's just play with one video down here and a subscribe button so let's do that here so which means after the end of this video is i'm going to tell it to subscribe and then also show a video now after that subscribe you can show off card all right so yeah i can indicate where i want it to show so let's bring it down a bit to the end of the video this is where i want it to actually show and also yeah i want the video to show there so it's not i don't want it to be on all the whole side of video so i want my video to show at 4 minutes 23 minutes 19 seconds to the end of the video and you click on save to have your video done also add card you want to promote some written content during your video it's so different from this because of the format where that makes your video that feasible if you watch what happened here what you're going to see here is when it plays you are telling me that i should indicate what you show so i can decide that you show a poll i can decide to show another channel or a feed of a playlist or links on a particular line but i actually don't need that here so all i'm going to do is tell him to return to youtube studio I advise people you can play around this tell him what you want it to do and at the end of the video we are done here we'll click on next so we have a video you can make it private on listed or public we are making this public we are not setting as insta premium we can share do have video and if you're not doing anything you click on publish and your video we be live yeah the video is live you can embed it you can share it to twitter you can share it to facebook if you interest all other side platform if, it, if i copy this link i close this and i try to open up my browser i put a link here it's going to take me straight directly to that video uploaded on my site so here we have a video about to play on the website and good our video is uploaded the site so i just want to show you uh what happened at the end of the screen just to test uh the, the side that that when it gets to 22 minutes few seconds can you see that I told you to subscribe and i told you to play all right so that is all for today i want to appreciate all of you for joining in thank you for watching this video feel free share your thoughts in the comment section let me know what other video aspects about on setting up a channel working on youtube that you want me to show you on my page thank you for watching